In this video we are going to talk on facts about Startup 2016. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Netflix is returning with another K-drama called, Startup, which will premiere this weekend. For those who are interested, the 16-episode series stars Bae Suzy, Nam Joo Hyuk, Kim Son Ho, and Kong Han Na. The rom-com, directed by Oh Chung Wan of Hotel Del Luna, depicts the narrative of individuals interested in startup businesses, as the title suggests. Startup chronicles the lives of the four main characters as they navigate the complexities of the startup and business worlds in a setting known as the Sandbox, Korean version of the Silicon Valley. Here are seven interesting facts. 7. The series reunites Suzy with the director and writer of, While You Were Sleeping. Notably, the next drama will be Suzy's first collaboration with Oh Chung Wan and screenwriter Park Hai Ryan, who previously collaborated on the successful 2017 drama, While You Were Sleeping. Surprisingly, he also wrote the script for Suzy's first ever drama, Dream High, 2011. It feels extremely significant to work together again because we worked together on my first acting project. After having matured and improved, as an actress, I was thrilled to be able to meet her again, said the former Miss A member. 6. Bay Suzy on why she wanted to be a part of, Startup. I was drawn to the topic of startups because it is fresh and new, the gorgeous Hallyu star explained. I was moved by the story of clumsy young people, and instead of focusing on the pressure to succeed, it makes even the act of taking on a challenge look beautiful as the protagonists approach problems full on, fall down, and get back up. 5. On screen chemistry between Nam Joo Hyuk and Suzy. When I originally heard about the part, I was ecstatic about the prospect of working with Suzy. We didn't have a lot of scenes together at first, but when we met, we had good chemistry, the hunky actor said shortly. While I initially heard about his casting and when we were on site, there was a lot of nice energy, Suzy continued. He also had a lot of positive energy, which generated a fantastic synergy between us. He's Dusan himself, and it's because of him that I was able to fully immerse myself in my part. He's a vivacious young man. 4. The quarrels among the four main characters. The characters in Jay and Doll M.I., played by Suzy, are rivals, and there is a lot of subtle struggle going on between the two of us, Hanna said of the characters' tensions and rivalries. Suzy, as we all know, is quite endearing, thus it was difficult for me to empathize with the character Doll M.I. While we are sisters who despise one other, we have a terrific friendship on set, and I hope you can enjoy our chemistry. In Jay is a very chilly person, but Han Na is a joyful and lovable person, so I got mixed up between the actual Han Na and her part, in Jay, Suzy concluded. While we had to keep a level of tension between us, there were instances when we laughed out loud. Dusan and Ji Pyong have a rocky connection as if it were something in real life, Ju Hyuk said of the two male roles. Dusan isn't someone you run into on a daily basis. Occasionally, as I was performing my lines, I became aware of myself. On occasion, I felt sad for Ji Pyong for pronouncing these sentences as Du San. We had to tape it again because it was so funny, and we couldn't stop laughing. Through this series, I met Ju Hyuk for the first time. In everything he says, he is pure and genuine. Everything he creates has a genuine feel to it. It was a lot of pleasure to just go with the flow of that energy. Mutual trust is extremely crucial in chemistry. He'd improvise on occasion, and he'd wind up playing the part himself. It was incredible, Son Ho said later. 3. Kong Han Na on her transformation for the role of one in J. The interesting thing is that Kong Han Na had her signature long hair cropped for her role in the series, opting for a shorter hairstyle. We already discussed how short hair would suit the character better, so I chose to cut my hair, she said when asked about it. One in J, as a CEO, is a brilliant entrepreneur. However, I have a soft spot in my heart for her. I hope people can empathize with her and wish her well in her personal life. In J is a CEO who works incredibly hard and is a meticulous businesswoman, the 31-year-old starlet said when asked how she prepared for the series production. The writer provided me with several reference videos to help me better grasp my character. I also looked for and watched films of great CEOs to get a sense of their aura. 2. Kim Son Ho talks about how he's prepared for the drama. Although there are many startup companies close to our life, this initiative allowed me to learn more about the sector of startups. In order to learn more about the subject, 
I read books about it, searched up terminology on the internet, and watched related lectures, the 34-year-old actor explained. The heartthrob was also asked how he managed to coordinate his schedules between filming, startup, and performing on the variety show, two days and one night, as a regular cast member. The creators were all incredibly supportive to me and my schedule, so I had no concerns about that, he says. What I'm most concerned about is that individuals who have seen me in variety shows might feel uncomfortable when they see my character Han Ji Pyong, he continued. I'm hoping that they'll grow to like my character over time and like both myself and my character in the series. Director Oh then chimed in with a remark about how much he enjoys the show. 1. Director Oh Chung Wan on the film's main meaning. Among K-dramas, I was startled to see so many series of similar genres. I believe it reflects viewers' desire to see heartwarming stories about young people. Because it follows the ups and downs of the characters, our story has ups and downs. You'll see our characters mature and form friendships with one another, as well as gain life lessons and discover more about themselves. It's about love, but not just love. It's about having a vision for your life and working hard to achieve that vision, according to the director. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.